everybody, it's Olivia Sheldon with Olivia Well. I hope you have liked me on Facebook, you're following me on Twitter and Instagram, and you have checked out my website, PositiveEnergyYoga.com, to get some DVDs, maybe for some last minute holiday gifts. So this is the time of year that a lot of my clients have been complaining of lower back aching and their hips being really tight, actually from leaning over wrapping presents. I had a client earlier today and she was really, really rocked in her lower back just from present wrapping. Who knew that that was a common injury? So let's discuss some outer hip stretches. Um, one of my people out there also recommended uh, that I do another video on some outer hips and some lower back. So this just ties in perfectly for everybody. So this is just an easy stretch, and we might have even gone over this one before, but I just love it, and you can just keep coming back to it every time. I call it the number four hip opener because it looks like a number four. And you can do it actually sitting down. So this is a great one to do at your desk if you're at the office. And you can just do it if you're sitting down after a long period of time wrapping presents. And it's really easy. I like to move around, kind of get the synovial or your joint fluid, get it moving into that joint so it helps to really open and loosen it up. Also, just work on the different angles, too. You can bring your chin over that shin. You can bring one arm in front. Take a little twist with it, looking in both directions. Take it to the side, and then take it to the other side. So just a nice little outer hip stretch. And don't think that this is a simple pose. It is to do, but what it's doing inside of the joint is even more impressive because it's getting that circulation and blood flow that we're always looking for to release our tension and our stress in that zone. And it's also bringing that fresh blood supply and healthy healing nutrients to the area. So it's going to keep it from getting injured over a long period of time. So this is really, really beneficial and hopefully something that you've added into your daily routine or at least a few days during the week. So from here, we've got a couple other options, and that's extending that leg forward. It's kind of still in that number four position. Make sure that ankle bone is above your knee, get your booty booty out from underneath you, and then press your right hand into that right knee. So encourage it to go down just a little bit. Cool part about this pose is it gets your bottom hamstring too, and then you just reach that left hand forward, and then you take an extension to deepen that stretch. You can always go all the way down, you know the range of motion is up to you, so don't push your body past its limitations. Certainly challenge it, work on edges, but never go to the point. You shouldn't be in pain in a posture. Always maybe a little discomfort at first, but even that eases up over time. My third position is to come into, it's called a half cow. So from that kind of half box pose, we're going into our half cow. And this is just crossing kind of half of an X. We squeeze the knees together. Use your hands to get those knees a little tighter wound. And this is another great one because you're getting that right outer hip again and releasing that hamstring. Think about all the muscles that support your lower back. So lower back health is important for flexibility. Obviously, you want to do like your up dogs and your cobra and your strengthening. So cobra is actually a nice one because it's the flexibility and the strengthening. And I'll give you that one in just a moment. So we've got that nice hip stretch, hamstring on the bottom here, right outer hip. Even that knee gets a nice little stretch too. So you take care of your joints and your joints are going to take care of you. Okay? So we've got one more position. We're just going to do simple, easy lower back strengthening. You're going to come onto your belly. Get on your belly. Bring your hands right beside your chest. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. Moving over my Buddha next to my nice little frog. Hands are coming by chest. Shoulders are going to roll back. Tops of the feet are pressed into the ground. You can keep your neck in neutral here or a slightward upward gaze. And we're going to just take a nice tall lift. Not going too tall, so we're going to keep the belly button on the ground and the elbows rooted into our ribs. And then exhale and slowly lower down. Use the breath here to give you the strength and take away the momentum that you're using 100% of your muscle and no momentum here. Also, if you keep your buns tight, you get a little buns of steel as we inhale and come up and then exhale and lower down. And just take about maybe two or three sets of eight to ten of these to build your lower back strength. So in the long run, this will offset any lower back pain. So we've got our great hip stretches. We've got our wonderful lower back strengthening. And you should be all set. So just those four postures are really going to take you a nice long way. So have a really safe and wonderful holiday. Enjoy your family, your friends. And don't forget to give time to your body because it'll take care of you if you take care of it. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Namaste.